Okay, we went from the penthouse to the look at him, I'm thugging now. We went from the penthouse down to the to the flow room. We made this move. I don't even know where the clock at this bad boy. So check it out, you know what I mean? Boom, that's my little area. My little section. Nobody better sell my cot at all. Penitentiary roof. Yeah. She can. We got a new bed. Check the new bed out, baby. Yeah, with the, yeah. And then we got this old machine. <laughs> Ain't no digital nothing up here. Yeah, press the button. Alex, give me. <laughs> so what you gotta say? Don't knock. Tell them what's going on. You won't go home. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Babies. Okay, so basically they moved us from the other room. Penthouse. We were not, um, they didn't need to monitor me 24-7 like that anymore because my contractions, I'm having them, but they're random now. They're not controlled anymore. They're kind of all over the place. So as long as I'm not um, making any major changes, I didn't need to be in that area of the hospital. It's like delivery, labor, and delivery. So now I'm on the maternity floor um, where they're going to do a little less monitoring, but still monitor. So we'll be here, they say, through the weekend. I'm ready to go right now. They probably let us go tomorrow. I hope so. So my goal is to just make sure I'm not in active labor anymore and then go back home and I'll be on bed rest until hopefully 38 weeks which will be in four weeks um, that's, that, that would be ideal but they're gonna keep us here just to make sure I don't go back into labor okay that's it and hey that's a short version of it he can talk I ain't lying, that was long, but it was shorter than what you mostly get out of. Ready to go home. What? Ready to go. Boo boo. <laughs> Give y'all an update, man. A room shot of the floor. The step down from the penthouse. There ain't no ghost in here. We didn't went back to Tasha. <laughs> it's a double D40 for that. That's the bathroom. But you know my normal. Stay tuned to be continued. We back in the, the last room we was in last night. Start off with the one with the bed that she likes. It's the one we in today. But right now she's in the shower. In a minute I'm gonna have to go in there and help and I'm gonna have to cut the video short because I'm gonna have to wash it back or something. But I gotta go make sure that she don't fall in the tub or nothing like that. So, just wanted to keep y'all updated about what's going on with our process. Our process is unusual process because it's, it's twins and they be cutting up, they moving, they running, they doing everything. But they, with the good thing, they are not coming out. We're keeping them in the oven as much as we can. That's all I can say about it. Right now, she's doing fine. Everybody's doing okay. Doctors and nurses have been great. Like I said, it's 11:25 right now. We've been here for four days. Today is October the 26th, 2019. Man, we just holding it, holding it out. Uh, I figured probably tomorrow or Monday they're gonna send us home. If she don't, if she if she slow, if her contraction stays how they are, how they been. So just pray for us. We will keep y'all in the tune. What's going on? So until then, you know my normal man. To be continued. Boom! Guess who's back in the room? Hey, check it out. We're back. Today is October 27th. <laughs> Another uneven, doggone day. <laughs> 2019. We we're holding out strong. She did good last night, but I don't think she's going home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. 
Still here. Oh, we just here. What time is it, honey? It is 9.06. So it's 9.06, once again, October 27, 2019. I'm on a monitor. Check the monitors out, man. This is the monitor of the babies. Oh, let me let me yeah. let me let me get it together, y'all. Let me see if I can see it. Check it out. That's for baby B. That's the mind of the mama, and that's the mind of the baby A. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, I do it twice a day right now. Two times a day they have to monitor them. I was on 24/7 monitoring, but then they freed me from that prison for a little while. Yeah. But maybe A is head down and he's like all the way down there. So they're scared to let me go home. Yeah. Because he's like, his head is pretty much like if I have the right contractions, he's coming out. Sliding out, home base. Yeah. And I have been contracting regularly, but it's not anything organized yet, as they call it. Other That's than when consistent. I first be yeah, consistent in intensity and time. When I came here, it was, but they stopped it. So now I'm just kind of in limbo. Whew. Well, we back in the room. We back in the, the floor room. But she in the comfortable bed, the high tech bed. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. Look at that. Bam. Everything's on the floor. You know, she asked me, can you step on the things on the floor and make the bed work? But I ain't going to tell y'all that again. <laughs> but we just wanted to make sure y'all stayed up, updated on what's going on in our lives right now. That these two boys are giving us. Not these two boys. Yeah, I'm giving them both of them the charge. But baby A, he on the jailbreak. You ever, I don't know if y'all remember the old jailbreak movies. Talk to the yeah. Talking to you too. So you know I gotta give it a like so you can see my face, yo. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Don't let that. Well yeah, baby A is doing the jailbreak. You know what I'm saying? He's digging his way out. <laughs> like hell with this shit. He, he trying not he trying to peep their head out and the other one pushing him. Man, come on man, let's go. But other than that, we just been here for five God six, damn, days. six days. Man. I don't think I showed y'all my bed, man. This, <laughs> look, I'm about to disappear again now. Now, don't talk about me now. This is my cot. Check it out, man. Yeah, this cot been kicking my butt. Can't say the other word. She be telling me I need to stop cursing so much. It's hard, man. It's hard. But, we appreciate, appreciate y'all staying tuned. But once again, to be continued. Back hurting. Oh, my 
How's that? That's a little bit better, man. <laughs> double pad is double pad. All right. And Good. Work it out. I'm happy that you're going to be a little more comfortable. We'll fix it. <laughs> well, <I see> well. <laughs> hey, guys. It is me. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to insert this at or not, but... <clears throat> I am in my hospital bed, chilling. It is day six that I've been here. And today I got that news earlier. I'm not sure if I've already shared it or not. Can't really even remember what I've recorded or haven't recorded. But um, I am gonna be here until I deliver the babies and while I am grateful very very grateful for the great care that my doctors are providing me I am just like so stressed out I have I was supposed to start well I did so as many of you know I have multiple businesses <laughs> and I finished up and finalized most of the things I had to do for one business and I started my maternity leave October 15th and then I was in the midst of finalizing and finishing up everything for a second business and I have a few things that are like still loose ends <clears throat> and then I have not necessarily a third business but I do have some other things that I do that I was finalizing as well so last week was actually supposed to be my very last week working all businesses working all everything and my body just was like I was doing team too much so now I have landed myself in the hospital and could be here another three weeks because today is Sunday so I turned 35 weeks on Wednesday. So three weeks and three days um, because the goal was originally to get me to 38 weeks. But I cannot imagine having to sit here in this hospital for three weeks. But if I have to, then it is what it is. Um, because at the end of the day, it is the priority is the boy's health um my health and i do want them to have the best chances of not having to go to the nicu or any of that stuff so i'm here to do whatever i have to do it's just 
timing wise I still had a lot of other things I needed to do too but it's not it's not that big of a deal <clears throat> I'll make it work and we'll get we'll get through it but yeah I just wanted to let you guys see that I'm feeling so much better the first few days here they had me on so much medicine because they were trying to stop my labor and I had no idea how that medicine was affecting me like I was so groggy and out of it things were moving in slow motion but I didn't know it was moving in slow motion if that makes sense so once I came off the medicine I was like it was the weirdest feeling I felt like myself again it was so weird like I could literally it felt like it started in my head and it was just draining out of me I could start I felt my face it was just like I came back to me and I was coming back to life again it was so weird um but once again I will say that my doctors and the nursing team that took care of me when I first got here baby they got me together I am so grateful because I could have easily had my babies and would have they would have been in a NICU or you know worse so who knows but they did what they were supposed to do they stopped the labor just in time and now they are giving me the opportunity to produce some more healthy healthy twins to be added to their birth vlog I guess <laughs> so yeah but I'm in good spirits y'all um I may try to get this video out while we're still here since I know I'm not going home so it's not like anything's gonna change I can start working on the first like I might have to do it in different parts so it might be like a part one part two or something like that because we've been vlogging and trying to video stuff since we got here um just because I didn't know if this was gonna be it. I was like, if it is it, I wanna document as much as I can. So I told my husband, try to get as much as he could, if he could remember. Um, and I think he was doing some things. So I had a lot of other stuff to do with you guys, but we'll get there. I had the nursery tour. I was almost done with the room. Um, I have an organization video that I'm gonna share with you guys. I'm also going to go back and talk about the first trimester the second trimester and the third trimester as a whole because i just was so busy um so busy and so i just had so much going on that i wasn't able to keep up with like weekly updates it just wasn't designed for my lifestyle um i mean i'm pregnant with twins and i never stopped because i have obligations i have a household to take care of and um I'm a full-time entrepreneur, so it's like, if I don't work, she don't make no money. So she gotta do, she gotta do, um, or she don't have. <laughs> so, but thank you guys for sticking around and hanging out with me, um, and for all of your prayers and well wishes. I am definitely gonna try to keep you guys posted on Instagram, and once I get all these videos uploaded, I'll feel better about youtube as well <laughs> but yeah we're definitely we have our camera and i will definitely try to document as much as i can throughout the rest of this journey oh let me show y'all i'm so bruised i don't know if you can see let me see Hold on, wait. oh it's in the inside like i got stuck so much you can't really see it but my whole arm is like all bruised up because they had to draw my blood um, every couple hours while I was on the, it's called magnesium and the steroid shots. Like they had to make sure I wasn't like having toxic levels of magnesium in my system. So it was like every couple hours they had to come draw my blood and I was freezing. So my, my veins were like shriveled up. So it was like, they couldn't get my veins. Oh my God. It was torture. I was being tortured, but it was all for good cause. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. And I'll keep you guys posted.